Hey guys, Red Pen Money here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day this video. All right, I just received a new little Bitcoin miner from mineshop.eu. I don't know what it is specifically, so we're going to open it up here and see what it is. It is nicely packed here, wrapped around the box. Okay, all right, there it is. Okay. This is a Nerd QX++, but I believe this is going to be a new revision Nerd QX++. So let's open it up here. Look at this. Okay, nice leaf, nice foam inside. We got the Nerd QX++, 4.8 terahash, looks like a little manual here. Okay, frequency and voltage settings. Okay, look at this. Please do not operate this miner above 750 megahertz or 1200 voltage. Doing so may cause overheating or hardware failure. All right, so that's big disclaimer. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside of the box here. It comes with the power cable. All right, comes with uh, the power adapter, which most of you know, I'm probably gonna go the custom power supply route as I've been now doing that, slowly moving over a lot of my miners like that. And we got the Nerd QX++, I believe this is gonna be revision uh, 6.1. Look at this. Okay, let's bring it closer here for you guys. All right, so first thing that I noticed right away, we got a fan on the back of this Nerd QX++. Also comes with a nice stand. I really like this stand. Similar to my Octaxes I just received recently, they also have a similar stand. But the biggest thing here is going to be this new connector. So it is not an XT60, so it is an XT30 plug. So this is gonna have better contact, higher capacity, more throughput in terms of wattage. Just a safer input plug here uh, for this Nerd QX++ here. Uh, similar to my Octaxes, they use an XT60 plug, which is much better. All right, so we got the typical thermal right heat sink on the front, I like that. And we got the LilyGo uh, screen here, OLED screen. Such a nice screen, I love these. And we can control the LilyGo screen by those buttons here. Uh, you can even turn off the screen. Another thing I notice is potentially a higher voltage capacitors and also there's a heat sink uh, on right here. This could be on the VRM right there. So I think this version probably has higher overclocking ability, which I think a lot of people wanted. I do have a first gen Nerd QX++ here. So yeah, I see some noticeable differences here. The power phases look to be a lot smaller. Let me take out the fans here so you guys can see better. Okay, I think these are power phases, but look, right? Look at this, these look bigger than these ones. Look at those differences there, you guys can see? And yes, it looks like these are smaller capacitors compared to these. So yeah, it looks like we got some pretty big differences on the new revision here. I mean, the barrel plug is obviously the upgrade, a massive upgrade here going to the XT30 uh, connector. So yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for another video. I'm gonna be plugging these into a uh, metal power supply like this instead of using these types of power supplies, which uh, I don't mind for some people. It may be fine, especially if you're running it on 240 volt, but since I'm running on 120 volt, these power bricks get extremely, hot and so another reason why i've been going on these types of metal power supplies uh, they have a fan they have higher capacity and they don't get hot at all this is not hot at all less than 40 50 degrees celsius these ones for me got up to like 80 sometimes 85 depending on your ambient temperature anyways let's just turn this thing on and uh, see how it performs okay i got the power supply plugged in and let's go ahead and plug in the XT30 connector at the top here. So there we go. Oh, I did the wrong way and this way. Okay. Oh, it's oh, and I forgot to plug in the fans. Let me let me do that right here. There we go. And better not start mining. Oh, I felt some fan speed. There we go. Okay. All right. There's a fan on the back. Oh, this thing. There is a lot of airflow going on on this. There's a fan on the back and there's a fan on the front. So this is going to cool. Yeah, this device is gonna be nice and cool. Definitely have a lot more overclocking ability with this, I'm sure. Okay, 
All right, so it looks like we are now, okay, I gotta connect to it with my phone. Let me get my phone. Okay, I'm connected to the Nerd QX++ Wi-Fi directly, and now I'm just waiting for the web page to come up. Yep, there we go. And this is where I'm just gonna set it up. Very easy, just like BitAxes, BitAx Gammas, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so it came up here. All right, I'm just gonna input my Wi-Fi SSID and also my pool of choice and such. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're getting six terahash on this thing. We're using about 114 watts. I'll show you guys at the watt meter here. Okay, I'll bring you in. 115 watts at the wall. So I'm solo mining Bitcoin right now and actually when I was setting it up, it was already at 750 frequency and 1200 core voltage. Pretty much the max we could go on this device. According to the disclaimer there, I mean, we could go higher if you want, but not sure if I wanna risk it. But just going through my Hash Watcher app, you guys can see 6.1 terahash. All right, look at this, chip temperature, 59 degrees Celsius. So this thing is staying very cool, which is really good. VR temp, 53 degrees Celsius. Power draw on the app says 102, but for me at my watt meter, it says 115. My voltage may be off at my house here. Uh, I bet you the app is at 120 volt. Um, anyways, 100% fan speed. Okay, we're getting an efficiency of 16.75 watt per hash. That's pretty darn good. And then overclockability. All right, so yeah, we're at 750 frequency, 1200 MV for the voltage. So. Getting six terahash on this thing, that's pretty good. Yeah, normally on the the first gen one, I was able to get about, what, 4.85 terahash on this model, but now that because there's a fan on the back, it's able to cool uh, everything much better. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say this is pretty good, pretty nice. All right, if you guys are interested, check out mineshop.eu. Thank you, Gunta, so much for saying this to me uh, to showcase this for you guys. This Nerd QX++ Revision 6.1. Yeah, it's got air coming out both sides. I love it, man. This is, this is it. This is the best. This is gonna be a lot more, I guess, efficient as well as keeping it cooler. The more that the device gets hot, the more uh, voltage, more power it's gonna draw. And so now that this thing is staying nice and cool, there's a lot of airflow going, I can feel a lot of airflow going around this device. So yeah, pretty nice. All right, well, hopefully we will hit a block. I'm gonna solo mine Bitcoin with this guy. Gonna just keep this on forever. And yeah, power, oh, the power adapter's not getting too bad. Not hot, but I mean, after five minutes, it is getting there, it is getting there. So stay tuned, my friends. I'm going to probably get a XT30 connector and cut it and put the negative and positive into one of these types of power supplies. All right, my friends, let me know your guys' thoughts about this Nerd QX++ Revision uh, 6.1. I think this is gonna be great. If you guys want me to overclock this thing further, let me know down below, but I don't wanna blow this thing up. Actually, I'll probably have to change the power supply first before I do that, because we're, yeah, we're hitting up 115 watts. This is a 120 watt power supply, so I'm already going balls to the wall. Uh, it's, it's already balls to the wall with this power supply, so. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thanks again, mineshop.eu, if you guys are interested. Links down below. Peace out. Peace out. Love the stand, seriously. Love the screen. This is perfect. Ooh, I gotta take out the plastic on here.